I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Inspiron 15 series 7000 this specific one is a 7559 model and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can upgrade the RAM or remove the RAM for your laptop I made a really short video I'll leave the link in the video description how you can check your maximum RAM capacity for any laptop or PC check that link it's about 30 seconds long without installing any program so you know how much RAM you can have in here we have upgraded this uh, laptop to 16 gig without any issues and I'm gonna go over on how you can do the upgrade for this one by upgrading the RAM you're not gonna remove or damage anything on the system so don't worry about that it's really easy to do first thing first you want to flip it over power it off flip it upside down and down here you want to grab yourself a screwdriver set I'm gonna use an iFix screwdriver set and we're gonna grab a Phillips number one and we're gonna loosen up this screw at the bottom cover right in here this screw has a little c-lock on it so that means the screw will not come out entirely so you just have to loosen it up so go ahead and loosen it up until you feel clicks and after that all you need to do is put the opening tool or your fingernails at the bottom I don't have a fingernail so I'm gonna put this opening tool right there the topic and then I'm gonna pull it up and bring it up and then pull it towards myself so I can release these tiny tiny hinges on the front end and put this one to one side next down here you're gonna see the RAM right in the middle there's a two RAM dim slots available one right in here one right down there to remove the RAM it's really simple all you need to do is put your fingers at the side of the triggers and uh, the RAM will come up for those people that get really paranoid they're like you must disconnect the battery before doing this you do not need to disconnect the battery to remove the RAM or anything like that but if you're paranoid and you want to do it go ahead pull up this cable towards the ceiling straight up from the motherboard and there's your battery get disconnected but you don't need to, to put it back here you want to make you put it down straight inside it here don't put it sideways okay and there you have now tangle back down the cable and there you have all right to remove the ramp pull these two triggers away from each other and the ramp will come out in 45 degree angle then you want to grab it and slide it backward toward the battery in the same direction this is a pci PC3L, that means this is a DDR3 low voltage. L stands for low voltage. You can put an 8 gig and another 8 gig in here. In total, you get a 16 gig RAM. To put a new RAM in here, make sure the notch on the RAM, which is right over here, matches the notch right on the dim, which is right down there. So if you try to put it that way around, it will not simply go through because the notches don't match. So grab it in 45 degree angle, bring it down to the all the way there and then push it towards the motherboard and pay attention to these uh, hinges on the side they're going to open and close automatically right there and that's how you know the RAM is in place again to remove let's put on the second dim on the top part you put a 45 degree angle and then push it down and it locks in place all right so there we have it this is a demonstration but you can put an 8 gig another 8 gig right on top if you have disconnected the battery plug it back in and the last thing down here would be to just grab the uh, bottom cover put the bottom end of the front end of the laptop right down um, make sure those tiny hinges go in there push the sides down make sure you do tiny clicks if it's not in that means the front end is not all the way in there we go got it the wrong way so I'm gonna rotate this so I can see there we go I'm gonna push the side sides and the last thing is tight tighten up the screws right in here again if you guys like my videos you can support the channel by clicking the like and support like and subscribe to support the channel I greatly appreciate it if you have any question or requests feel free to leave them in a video comment I'll try to answer them as soon as I can as always thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video